Hey, and welcome back, everybody. I am doing the introduction speech here. I'm still in D.C., but I popped down the road. Now I'm in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Again, what a crazy time in D.C., so virtual being there virtually is better than in person. Um, so this introduction speech should be very simple for you. It's really, again, to get you to uh, start speaking, to get to know each other, and to see where you are with research. So I'll give you mine now following the prompts here. So first, as you know, my name is Carl Brown. I am originally from Princeton, West Virginia, which is nowhere great to be. Like in Michigan, we do this, and we'll tell them we're from here. In West Virginia, we do this. It's true because that's the way the state looks. I'm from down here. Um, it's really a, a rough spot. So when I was about 13, we moved to Bristol, Virginia. Um, if you're familiar with NASCAR, it is Bristol Motor Speedway. If you're familiar with country music, it is the country music birthplace. Um, from there, I moved to Johnson City, Tennessee. Yes, the one from the Wagon Wheel song. And attended ETSU, East Tennessee State University. Um, did my undergrad there in comm. Did my, uh, I guess that's my specific major. I'll just cover two with one here. Undergrad in comm, master's at ETSU, was in gender comm. And then did my PhD. I moved to Hattiesburg, Mississippi to go to Southern Miss. And I got my PhD in strategic interpersonal communication, which is essentially manipulation. But we try to use it for good. Um, if you've never been to Mississippi, good, don't. Um, I mean, unless you like heat and or racism. And then in that case, you'd be very happy there. Um, so my goal or plans for the future, my short-term goal is to make it through uh, the coronavirus um, epidemic, pandemic without catching it. And longer term is to get tenure and stay at Grand Valley, write lots of books and papers and become some... You know, professor that you would see in a movie number five my ideas about how i will approach this so i do have a topic what i'm looking at um, is communication center employees so i am the as i mentioned before the director of the speech lab at grand valley and so i want to know how uh if there is a, a correlation between personality types and the services that individuals choose to work in so is there a difference in personality types between writing center and speech lab folks or research folks or different tutoring centers on a campus um and i will tell you always ask where's the communication well for me it will be what does that simple choice of where to work communicate about your personality and you know we'll see what's there so that's the project i will be doing while i'm working with you um, and I'm going to use, this isn't on there, but I'll use quantitative methods. I've got a survey that's already been sent out. I think I've got maybe 325 responses, something like that. So that's what I will be working with. And I'm happy to help you with yours as well. In case you missed it in the first video, um, go back and watch that. You'll want to watch all the videos. Um, but you're going to want to really understand that just because you don't know how to do a particular type of research shouldn't sway you from not doing it that's what we're here for i'll teach you how to do it i'll show you how to do it and we'll be able to answer the question that you want to answer it's possible that we'll need to simplify or um, maybe break apart what you want to know into smaller pieces but we'll we'll get on the path to being right where you want to be so that's my introduction speech. One last thing before you cut me off about these videos. This is a short one. Many of my videos, the lecture videos are going to be about an hour long. Um, folks have said that's too long. They want it in shorter chunks. Sorry, just hit pause, right? I mean, write down where you were on the timestamp and come back later. But uh, someone had complained that it was hard to go back and say, okay, what did Carl say specifically about this topic? It'd be nice if he'd make an individual video for that. No, um, you can take notes while you watch and then write down what I talk about at what timestamp and then you'll have that ready to go and you'll be able to get right back to it. Um, that came from mostly freshman, sophomore, so I don't know that that will be an issue with us. But if it is, I know and um, you'll adapt. So 
With that said, as always, let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to help. I'm here for you. Email me. Let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.